Hey, what's up? This is Misfit 1 and Misfit 2. Today we're just going to give a quick overview and kind of a uh, first impressions of the Crytac uh, Shrike LMG. So uh, we'll just start off from front to back. Uh, the barrel? What do you think about the barrel? It's a nice heavy barrel. Nice thick. Seems like it'll, it'll hold up. I mean, not really like you need a heavy barrel for an airsoft gun, but right. it's, it's a nice added touch. Yep. Then it comes... I'm not sure what this is right here. It's supposed to be like a... Uh, Gas regulator. Ah, gotcha. Alright. And it comes with a rail. Nifty rail here that you can attach a bipod. Or if you wanted to, you could attach... Yeah, I guess if you want to attach your bipod on top, you could. That's kind of <laughs> weird. If you're going upside down, you have a bipod on the upside down. Bipod on the right no, side no, up. No, just in case you're doing that... Uh, tactical roll. Tactical... Oh, oh, oh. Or you can attach a contour camera here if you wanted to to get like that... First person view? First person, or like the... like Gun the, yeah. cam view? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Does not come with the PEC-16 or the uh, Elk Inspector or the stock, actually. It comes with a Crytac stock. <laughs> I don't have it on me right now, but yeah, it comes with the Crytac stock. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. I'll insert a little clip. Um, yeah, so moving past this... Uh, to get the the hand guard off here, you just twist. It's gonna embarrass me on camera, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's how these things works. Always. Ah, okay, forget it. So I then you it. unscrew this yeah. this little thing, and it, it backs off, and then you yeah. can take take the hand guard out. The hand guard, it, it it doesn't feel very good to me. It feels kind of cheap. Yeah. Sorry, Crytek. Come on, Tim. Do better. Yeah, it's kind of cheap. You can see um. You can see the, the, the mold seams. line or the seam line. Yeah. Because it's actually like a two-piece thing. Yeah. We opened it up earlier and it was like, there's like inter, it interconnects. Like a puzzle. Like almost. a puzzle type thing. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's two pieces. It's not injection molded as a single piece. Right. Um, the top, uh, the heat shield is metal. It's pretty cool, I guess. Pretty nice. I think we were talking about earlier that... They're supposed to make a rail, or they're making a railed version? Or a something. railed version, supposedly. Uh, nobody knows if they're going to make a rail specifically for the gun that you buy after, you know. So, like, a rail that you could buy afterwards, but they're supposed to make a railed version of the gun. Yeah, yeah. So, if they're only going to make a railed version of the gun, it'd kind of suck for everyone that bought the gun already, but there's no rail available. So, Crytac, if you ever see this, make a rail available to everyone that already owns the gun. Please. It'd, it'd be, be awesome. It'd be very, very kind. Um, and yeah. make it affordable. Right. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. This uh, this little piece here, I believe this is to change the barrel. Yeah, for a quick change barrel on the real yeah, one. On the real one. Um, let's see, the upper. Obviously, the upper is different than a regular AR upper. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what all is going on here. I don't know. I guess this is just a design choice. But it, it, it looks cool. Uh, the metal is different from the bottom, the lower receiver. So uh, I think they use different types of metal. It's um, either, or a different finish. Or a different finish. Yeah, I shouldn't say metal difference. A different finish. That's a better way of putting it. Um, the uh, the top rail, or uh, the uh, Or the feet, top of the feed tray cover. Top of the feed tray cover. There you go. Or feed tray cover. Feed tray, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it wobbles quite a bit. Um but it's it's all good really. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, to lift the lift it, push push forward, and there you go. And you got the feed tray. And obviously these aren't real, but this is how you know if you wanted to if you wanted. This is to, how you load it. Yeah. <laughs> Just to play, not really. To play BB Wars. <laughs> no, but if you wanted to you know put your uh, dummy bullets in here, then that's how you would do it. And yeah, it's pretty nice, uh, solid piece of metal. Actually, it's really solid piece of metal. Cling, cling, cling. That's all you know. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take this out. Actually. All right. Uh, moving on to the lower receiver is a really nice finish, and I just I think it's really really nice. I don't know. Just Everything me. is like engraved. It's not laser engraved. They actually engraved it. Yeah, it looks really like, nice. like laser engraving needs to stop. 
you, you can like you can take that off with like some hundred grit sandpaper. Yeah. This kind of engraving, you're gonna have to take like a grinder to it. Yeah. If yeah. you want to take it off, I don't know why you wouldn't and it has want to. This uh, serial number here, I'm not sure if it's respective to the particular gun. <laughs> it's know. a long serial number though. It's pretty long. There's a lot of numbers in there. My serial number is classified. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, just kidding. All right, and then they have a, a pretty unique trigger guard here. I think it's supposed to be like one of those winterized ones for if you're wearing gloves. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I don't know why there's a hole in it, but maybe it's for drainage of snow. <laughs> maybe it's to cut down on weight, man. Oh, <laughs> like super, yeah. Super uh, Ricky Tiki Recon fast. Oh, yeah, there that. we go. Yeah. Weight savings in the trigger guard there. <laughs> and then... Uh, I uh we 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 shot it a little bit. We didn't actually feed BBs through. Um we're not in the right area to do that. But um we shot it a little bit. Uh the motor is okay. It's not super fast. It's pretty responsive though. It's not that bad. Um uh I didn't experience it because we didn't shoot it that long, but the motor grip I've heard a lot of complaints about it getting really hot. So there may be a problem for some people and uh it's kind of a different finish the plastic looks really cheap than not yeah it. it looks like what jg uses on their pistol grips yeah. for their uh their yeah. m4s and stuff it does come with a uh, sling mount right here um between the buffer tube and uh lower receiver i guess you would say and then uh the stock i talked about how it comes with the crytac stock does not come with the stock i put it on here because i thought it would I think this gun looks more like a military type gun, so I like it that way. So, uh, yeah. It's a um, crane stock for the win. Yup. Yeah. Let's see. I, I don't want to skip over anything. So make sure. Oh, the selector switch. It's ambidextrous. A little. It's a little tough on the uh, on the right side. So for you left hand, you lefties out there, that that selector on that side is going to be a, a little tougher than the one on. Yeah, to engage it side. to engage it on this side. Did I say that wrong? I think they hopefully they get it. I think you might I think so for you lefties out there, the the right side of the selector, which is what you would use, is harder than the left side selector, which is what us righties use. Right. And I know you'd probably be like, that would might sell you, be like, Oh my god, ambidextrous selector, I'm buying that gun. Just keep in mind that, you know, it's not super see i can't do it with my index finger right now i could but i had to take a lot of force to do it you know and so it's, it's kind of tricky um but this side is really easy to maneuver and at that point almost too easy where it's not it's not making good solid clicks yeah i mean a little bit but you're right not here. there's not like like in the semi, there isn't isn't a positive click. There's a, a, a positive click into safe and a positive click into auto. Yeah. Which is where you're gonna be at anyway. You're gonna yeah. be in safe or you're gonna be in auto. Yeah. You're not really gonna be in semi too much with this. Yeah, I you, hope. I sure hope. Not. It's an LMG. Use it like it was meant to be used. All right. And it does. Uh, it does take regular AR or M4 mags. So. You know. All that good stuff, which is really cool if you run out of ammo for some reason. Cool. Yeah, you can, you know. Bum one from your buddy. Or. He's an AK fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can even just use, you can just run these on your plate carrier and have an excuse to run them, you know. I don't know. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully I'm not skipping over anything. Oh, the uh, hop-up. It's a rotary style hop-up. Uh, you may not be able to see it from there. I'm trying to do. A, I'll try to do a close up of it. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I like it. It has definitive clicks in each different mode or setting, I should say, which is pretty cool. Uh, the gearbox is pretty, pretty cool. I've seen pictures of the gearbox. It has. Um, I'm not gonna crack it open right now, but it has uh, engravings on the gearbox that seem pretty cool. It says Crytac on it, and, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a pretty unique color. You know, uh, gearbox shell looks pretty sturdy. As a, you know, I don't know about the components inside the gearbox though. Um, when we were shooting it though, it sounded really like nice. Didn't sound like zip 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 zip. It sounded like you know, like a like the the shimming was pretty good. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just keep that in mind. Pretty good. Good on that. Uh, we'll do a little quick chrono here real quick. And then, yeah, I'm going to be fielding this at a GamePod Combat Zone on the 23rd, right? 23rd. On the 23rd. Um, so if you guys want to show up and say hi or meet us or anything like that, or if you're interested in joining uh, Misfit Syndicate, um, just, you know, talk to us there and all that good stuff. Uh, if you can't talk to us there and you want to reach us any other way, just reach us on Facebook. So I'll post a link in the description to our Facebook page and Instagram, actually. And, um, yeah, check us out. Uh, we're very friendly, so if you're there, just come say hi. I promise we won't bite. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we'll just do this chrono, and that's it. This is Misfit 1 and Misfit 2 signing off. Deuces. <laughs>